into the daily suite. Yes. And uh, get right into that. You want to begin? Yes. Um, on the front page of the daily graphic, we have Halton City Decline. VOG rolls out tough measures, sets up tax force to monitor Forex Bureau. Interesting. Bahumia Mahama spa over <laughs> economy. <laughs> you know, it, it, it's interesting. The headline, I mean, the story is there, so you, you know, people can go yeah. and read that. But I'm asking myself, is the Forex Bureau the real problem? Well. Really? Is that the real problem? Okay, let's well, continue. Bahumia Mahama spa <laughs> over economy at CEO summit. And Ghana loses $1.9 billion to post-harvest losses annually, and that's by the WFP. Minority urges president to construct Kualugu Dam project. And Reverend Father Campbell, 23 others from Maiden ELC Awards. Work on Minerals Commission Office in Kumasi progresses and that's what we have on the front page of the daily graphic oh behind it we also have dr undum begins campaign to resuscitate gn bank pay heat flash floods are dangerous and that's um gmet cushioning each yeah. and every one of us yeah. because obviously yeah. the flash floods just yeah. appear out of nowhere yeah. especially during this rainy season yeah. so yeah, yeah we really need to pay heat. Yeah. yeah and and, and the, the worst kind of flash floods are those that it's not raining, mm -hmm. but the f waters are coming, mm -hmm. right? Because yeah. the w because the f the, the it's raining somewhere else, yeah. And so you may not see rain, but you may suddenly see water True. approaching. Right. And you know, human beings as we are, sometimes we look at the water and we think to ourselves, eh, "No big deal, let me cross." True, you know. That's true. And then you you yeah. you, you, you end up yeah. in trouble. And when you read the story, um, they actually um, let us know that we can look out on all their platforms for mm. all the information. We shouldn't joke with every yeah. information that they put out there yeah. because a lot of times, a lot of people say, oh no, all those um, forecasts is a lie. But look, we are seeing it happen. So yeah. please, let's watch out for everything they put out there. Yeah, very important. The Ghanaian Times has these headlines. We've enough dollars to meet local demand, BOG assures. Okay. Wait. Simple question. If there were enough dollars, why is it thing, why are you going after why is it depreciating? For, yeah, why are you going after and why the forex bureau? Okay. You get it? I get it. Yeah, I, I don't understand it, man, but yeah. Okay, so Minerals Commission Ultra Modern uh, Ashanti Regional Office ready in October. Lands Minister inspects progress of work. We are building contractors call for law to boost local material use. And our national election response group uh, to address threats to December general election. And court dismisses food sovereignty's challenge to commercialization of GMOs. Okay, so that's what we have for the Ghanaian Times. All right, on the front page of the new finder, fireworks at CEO Summit as Bahumia Mahama tackle each other. AGI Electrochem Z Multimedia Special Supplement. Ghana eyes $2 billion out of $34.1 billion uh, dollar market so global salt market. And Moses Baden, CEO of Margins, I judged overall best CEO. All right, the, the Daily Guide says that uh, ambulance case at a force and begs AG to drop case. Uh, Baumia dares Mahama to debate. Ebenage Herbal trained staff. And we have uh, three, a boy, three killed in Lewin accident. Um, you know, yesterday, a friend of mine who happens to be a teacher mm -hmm. um, and uh, this boy is actually a student oh. from one of the schools she oversees she's actually a head teacher yeah. and um, reached out to uh, me yesterday and was very uh, disappointed mm -hmm. in the way the reportage had gone out you know oh. because what happened was it's like everybody was very focused when the accident happened mm -hmm on the star yes and what had happened with the star and I completely Forgotten. not not even taking note of the fact that he was in collision with another vehicle. another vehicle in fact not just one other vehicle right but in the collision with another vehicle the the little boy died and the father of the boy is in <sighs> emergency like a critical condition 
also in hospital. But it's true. You know, so um, yeah, anyway, but I'm, 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 um, I hear the boy will be uh, put to rest, you know, um, in 10 um, today. Wow, wow, and, uh, so Condolences rested. to, their, to yeah. the family of that little boy, and uh, we wish the father full and speedy recovery right. as well. So my last paper here is a daybreak. Um, Amidu Dez Mahama on Airbus. An untreated hypertension may cause erectile dysfunction. Cardiologist warns. The alternative is scary and worse. Athena Markin cautions voters. And Canadian Cultural Group commends Bahumia. All right. Yeah. So we have some uh, news from citynewsroom.com. Let's take a look at some of those. I'll do the main headlines here. It says here, uh, don't be dodgy. Release documents on sale of hotels. Avenue Markin tells SNIT. Let's look at some top trending stories. Uh, 2024 Hajj, first batch of over 4,000 pilgrims to leave for Mecca today. We have Baumia slams Mahama for unsustainable developmental projects. Ghana's economy in crisis due to Ekufuado's poor leadership is coming from Mahama. And Information Minister Fatima Abubakar, Fatima to Abubakar, pays courtesy on City TV, City FM. Yesterday I saw her and yeah. I was just excited because yeah. you know she used to be, she was a regular uh, back when we were in Adabraka on our news review mm -hmm, segments. Mm -hmm. And um, yeah, that was, those were good times, you know. And then uh, she got appointed as Deputy uh, Information Minister and got busy. Yeah. You know, so it was the first time I was seeing her ever since that time. And it was really good to catch up. Yeah, yeah, really yeah, yeah. yeah. Same thing here. And then um, we have peasant farmers in despair over $12 million spent on Pualugu Dam. Economic crisis. Government hasn't been reckless. And that's by Baumia. Four officials of Some Senior High School remanded. Ghana not attractive to oil investors globally, and that's by Ben Boachi. And Piak urges government to enhance investment climate. Ambulance case, resign now to save your reputation. Answer Asari to Godfred Dame. Election 2024, Mahama pledges to scrap e-levy, ease tax burden on businesses. An ambulance case again, secret recording happened in Justice Kulendi's residence, and that's by Nana B. Hmm. Don't exit Ghana, Mahama to multinational companies and three officials of Some SHS uh, interdicted over alleged theft. Wow. There's a whole lot of things that's going, going on. on. <laughs> um, well, let me just say that, um, you, you know, I'll delve into one of the stories. Mm -hmm. um, Ghana, not attractive to oil investors globally. Right. Um, this, is, this is interesting. Let me just go and read it, it to you. Executive, Di Executive Director of the Africa Center for Energy Policy, ASAP, uh, Ben Boache, has expressed concern over Ghana's falling oil production. Now, the 2023 Public Interest and Accountability Committee, PIAC, annual report disclosed a worrying trend. Uh, Ghana's crude oil production has, been, has seen a decrease for the fourth year in a row uh, in 2023. Now, the report highlighted a significant drop in crude oil production from a peak of 71.44 million barrels in 2019 to 48.25 million barrels in 2023. Now, this, was re this represents an average annual decline of 9.2%. Now, an alarming discovery was also made that the total proce proceeds from the Jubilee Oil Holdings Limited uh, liftings received in 2023 amounted to uh, 70, 70 uh, million 456,718.93 US dollars were not deposited into the petroleum holding fund for the second year running. Now in an interview on the point of view on City TV, uh, ben Boache attributed a decline in oil production to Ghana's lack of appeal to global investors. Now, he also highlighted a lack of government incentives for investors and local companies already producing. He emphasized that incentivizing existing investors is crucial to attracting more investors. And I quote, when those in your country already producing 
are not incentivized to put in more money, you are only joking to think that you can bring in more investors. Once you are roaming around looking for investors, the narrative globally is that Ghana is not attractive. Yeah. And that is known to the industry. He makes a very good point. Yeah. Right? Yeah. If we see you if we see you shopping and not making up your mind and I'm not having you. any any conclusive uh, commitments, so, mm -hmm. it means it's like why are they avoiding Ghana? Why are these people they've been shopping around for the last mm -hmm. three months, six mm -hmm. months, why are they still shopping around for investors? It means the people they've already spoken to, the last ten they've spoken to, none of them have minded them. Yeah. So let's be wary. Let's be wary. You know, it's, it's, it's a very serious situation that we find ourselves in. Mm -hmm. I don't know if there's any stories that, that pique your interest. Oh, no, that's fine. Yeah? Yeah. Okay, fantastic. Well, it's time for sports. Don't go anywhere. All right, uh, it's time for some sports review. Um, Black Stars, the Black Stars will open camp in Accra on Thursday, May 30th, 2024, ahead of the 2026 FIFA World Cup qualifiers against Mali and Central African Republic. The team will train at the University of Ghana Stadium for six days before departing for Bamako on Tuesday, June 4, 2024. The Black Stars are hoping to get back to winning ways after recording one win and one loss in their first two matches in Group 1 of the World Cup qualifiers. And Ghana opened the campaign with a 1-0 win over Madagascar in Kumasi before losing the, by the same goal margin to Comoros in Moroni. The FIFA World Cup qualifier against Mali in Bamako on Thursday, June 6, 2024, at 7 p.m. Ghana will later take on Central African Republic at the Babayara Sports Stadium on Monday, June 10th, 2024. All right, and some news from the Wafu B and the 17. Ghana will take on Nigeria today in the bronze medal match in the ongoing Wafu B and the 17 championship. Now, after recording a perfect group stage run, the Black Stars were stunned by Burkina Faso on Saturday in the semis. Uh, leading to Kingston's resignation. Now, the loss meant that Ghana was out of contention for qualifying for the Under-17 AFCON and the Under-17 World Cup. Now, the assistant co head coach of the team, Nanakwe Kwajiman, supervised the team's preparations for the match, and he and other members of the technical team will handle today's encounter. Now, the match will kick off at 4 p.m., at the University of Ghana Stadium. Mm -hmm. All right.